right, uh, this is an admiration filly out of Dark Attack. Uh, big, strong girl. Not got the perfect set of legs, uh, must be said. Um, they're not that bad, uh, but being nitpicky, they're probably about a 8 out of 10. Just a little bit sort of benchy through those knees and um, nothing that'll ever, ever bother her as far as um, standing up to uh, racing and training. But um, look, lovely type. Big, strong and athletic. Um, and uh, probably... Uh, I think her and her uh, full sister, um, who's a well current weanling, soon to be yearling in a, in a week or so, uh, the two nicest horses this mare's had. Uh, the first foal by Universal Ruler, he was probably a little bit, a little bit too coarse. Um, this filly's definitely an improvement. She's still a big girl, but uh, she just appears a little bit more athletic for mine. And uh, um, yeah, she's growing out nicely. So ratings wise, I'd probably give her about a seven and a half. Um, but look, you know, a lot of horse for not much money and uh, I quite like her actually, um, you know, she's surprisingly athletic for such a big heavy filly. So uh, good Bob Peters pedigree. Um, her uh, her mother's um, um, half brother won the other day up at Northern, uh, won his maiden at his most recent start up there last Thursday and uh, for Jessica Vallis and William Pike and uh, Amber's Duke, I think his name is. And uh, look, you know, much the same as her, the sort of big, uh, big heavy horses and um, uh, she's uh, as I say a little bit more athletic than the uh, than the norm and uh, yeah still a nice filly all the same um, and uh, look she's uh, gonna probably come in fairly soon and do some education and and head towards trials and then uh, see what sort of a uh, motor she's got uh, most of the family do look like they can stay and run a bit of ground um, but we're sort of hoping that uh, the stone puts a little bit more of a turn of foot into this mare so uh, admiration filly out of dark attack.